Citizens of the Reject Nation, welcome to another Action Spectacular. The two jackedest guys doing reactions in the game. Go ahead, Gregor, and watch Dread. Greg Ugh. has seen it as a child. I saw it as a child. I remember little to nothing, but it being a cinematic masterpiece. That's all you need to remember. It was designed for four-year-olds, so it's been like 31 years. I think I missed an entire comic book series. Yeah. Because there's two of them. I've not seen either. I knew yeah. I hadn't seen the second one. I've never seen this. I haven't seen the second one, so we'll do a first time watching for the Carl Urban one. I love sitting on this side. I feel like it's feel stretching like out this side of my neck. You get a little more traps. <laughs> yeah. I very, very much love the comic book. Uh, one of my buddies, Jock, has brought the comic book back to life. It is a very beautiful book. It is very historically like loved. It's one of those cult comics that has really endured the uh, test of time. So we're going to dive in, and uh, we're going to see how it goes. Are you excited? You didn't say any of the stuff. Nope, didn't. And remember, hit that like. I hit like that notification the button. intro. <laughs> Going to the top. Going back to the top. No, no, no. Doesn't matter. It's still solve your mistakes. Stay. I'm gonna solve it. If They're it gonna was, stay. If the rolls were switched, I would totally redo That's it. That's true. That's true. But I'm gonna go just from the bottom here. <laughs> Remember to hit that notification bell. Hit that like button so you know that you want to see Dread 2, which is really just Dread reboot. And leave a comment below, especially with action movies you want us to watch. So let us know if there's anything you're like. I bet these guys haven't seen Blank. Leave a comment below. And which Dread do you like more, this one or the new one with the? Uh, Joel Kenneman? Carl, Carl Urban. Carl Urban and all of his growly glory. <sighs> I suppose uh, we don't have a Patreon anymore. We're out of patrons. <laughs> They're all dead. And if you want to watch <laughs> this completely with us from front to back, start to finish, and see me and Greg's resting faces, become a patron and be super sexy over there with us as we dive into dread. That intro is going to be called Koi's Failed Intro. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I missed this logo. I always thought that looked like Arnold Schwarzenegger. The Sphinx? Like they, yeah, the night and the face of that. <laughs> the Sphinx looks like Arnold. You never thought that? Never. I love it so much. Now I'm not going to unsee it because he's so chiseled and he's got the big cheekbones and like the. How? I see it. You love comics. I love these things they make. Yeah. Look at this reference in the comics more than the average comic movie already. Yeah. <laughs> this is fantastic. Is this suggesting we're stepping into a comic book? It feels like it. We're going into the between the panels. In the third millennium, the world <laughs> changed. Climate, nations, all were in upheaval. Yes. Transformed into a poisonous, scorched desert known as the Cursed Earth. Millions of people crowded into a few megacities. Megacity. Bands of street savages created violence the justice system could not control. Law as we know it collapsed. <laughs> a society ruled by a new elite force. They were the police, jury, and executioner all in one. They were the judges. Whose voice is that? It's the butt to butt guy from Requiem for a Dream, for sure, right? All right. I didn't say it because it's on, on YouTube, but I want to demonetize, but that's yeah, the scene. That's okay. Thought ahead. <laughs> Ah, uh, actual models. <gasps> cool. Sounds like Dune vibes. Diane like Lane's in this. That's right. I remember that. <laughs> Shocking. Aspen Prison Shuttle docked. What? It's the first character you see. I would never have guessed. Six months sentence, Aspen Prison served. Welcome back, citizen. Your living assignment is Y Block, Heavenly Haven, Red Quad. Ah, he's returning to society. Uh, don't you miss when future movies used to do this stuff? Now they're like, what's a realistic future? <laughs> Look at that, like an overly dud. <laughs> yeah, this is just cool. Yeah. Stacks on stacks. Also, some Fifth Element vibes. Mm hmm, mm hmm. One of us will reference Blade Runner eventually. Ah, eh, we'll get there. Wait till a raining shot. Yeah. <laughs> the Statue of Liberty is just right there. Just chilling. It's just built around it. Oh my god, this is just L.A. on the weekend. <laughs> Eat recycled food for a happier, healthier life. Ew. Be kind and peaceful to each other. 
Eat recycled food. Ew. <gasps> What's his name? Dexter Morgan's dad. Yeah. James something. James. Remar. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I live here. I mean, I'm gonna live here. Maybe I should go to a hotel. No way, man. Don't you hear him out there? It's block war, man. Block war? Block war. It's a war on their block. Uh, it's just like a free-for-all of it's death because it murder. doesn't look like they're specifically attacking anyone. They were just doing their own thing. <laughs> Judges. It's a pretty slow mo shot. It's got to be him. There's so much practical effects here. Yeah, I really like it. Yeah. Yeah, through the fire. <laughs> I am the law. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Come and get us! He's crazy. I knew they'd do that. They're firing 20 millimeter caseless fletch around at 300 meters. The effective lethal range is 200 meters. You're safe. You can <laughs> still be shot. So it hurt. Waiting for backup. It's here. I have the backup. I'm the law. <laughs> Got how cool that gun was. Practical. Smooth criminal. This room has been pacified. <laughs> Great choice of words. Rookie. Oh, look at them guts. Put on your weapons and prepare to be judged. Judge this. <laughs> I hope he always says prepare <laughs> to be judged. <laughs> nice. Nice. Double whammy. Double whammy. That's an official move. <laughs> Must be. All right. Double whammy. Code 457. Resisting arrest. 20 years. <laughs> Thank you, Hershey. And code 3613, the first degree murder of a street judge. So much judging. Let me guess. Life. Death. Death. Yeah! yeah! This movie's perfect. Did they just kill Rob Schneider off camera? He was our eye line into I them. I don't think so. Damn it. Oh, that was Diane Lane. It's good for the environment. Okay for you. Please make your selection. Insert your credit in the slot. Oh, I hear his voice. He's in there, yep. Yeah. Five. Please let your Four. friend go by. Three. You are in the way of the servo droid. Three. Boy, am I glad to see you. Local sabotage of a public droid. That's six months, citizen. Let's see your unit card. Oh, my God. Judge, Judge, you were unreasonable. He was trying to live and survive. Five years? Five years? They were killing each other in you there. Could have gone out the window. Forty floors? It would have been suicide. Maybe, but it's legal. <laughs> Who is this guy? <laughs> Die legally. <laughs> oh man, is this a comedy? I, I know. It can't tell if it's like a commentary on law. Being <laughs> is it satirical? Unjust? <laughs> yeah. Like the gilded eagle on his shoulder? Like, what is this? Yeah, I can't tell if it's, like, intentionally funny or His dialogue is so much. Joseph. Chief Justice Fargo. You may start at ease, Joseph. Face reveal. <gasps> the Mandalorian. Oh, my God. It's Sylvester Stallone. I never would have known. You remember your days as a cadet, Joseph. I remember what you taught me, sir. You were my finest student. History. Starting tomorrow, you're going to spend two days a week at the academy. Not killing people. Killing students. <laughs> killing students. 
It's about Judge Dredd learning not to kill. Snape goes or, back to school. Or unfair incarceration <laughs> all the time. I don't cross anything. I'm a ghost. And we're both prisoners here. Who's this guy? Very familiar, but can't place him. Our mysterious benefactor has sent you a package. Deactivate shield. Auto guns only. Auto guns reactivated, Lord and Miller. Say Lord and Miller? Lord and Miller! It's a premonition. <laughs> what is that? That's an ancient puzzle. That contains the meaning of life. Why would you have your shields down around this guy? Why would you scan the side of your thumb instead of the front of it? What is the meaning of life? Oh. <laughs> it ends. <laughs> That's the meaning of life. Voice not recognized. Oh, shot of the throat. No. Stormtroopers, get in there. <laughs> You'll miss. Hmm. He's not in this tiny space. He must not be. Oh, there he is. <laughs> that was a good transition. Ah, that I like a, that a lot. That was a that great, was great transition, dude. A walk that every judge must take outside these city walls. And there, spend your last remaining days taking law to the lawless. That's your retirement? Dying alone <laughs> out in the woods? <laughs> That's winning? <laughs> You made it sound like our lives are practically over. I have a personal life. I have friends. You're one of the smartest of the new breed, but you've only been on the street a year. You haven't gotten used to the isolation yet. God, look how he's lit. Loneliness. Peace. No one is supposed to be alone all the time. Haven't you ever had a friend? Cold as ice. Nice man. Yes. Once. Once. <laughs> <laughs> I rested him. <laughs> he broke the law. He jaywalked. I have ten years. <laughs> I judged him. I judged, it's true. I judged him. Swelling of music. He is hilarious in this movie. He's so good. Is he aware? I don't know. No, he's so funny. What is the genre? <laughs> he's the best part. It's so good. He's so funny. Oh, it's a wide boy. Who's that stormtrooper? <gasps> I suspect that we are focused on that for a reason. One of them. Yes. Even all tarped up, he could still aim that well. Impressive. It is impressive. I don't know why he took off his dog tags, though. He was wearing them in the prison. They seemed important to him at the time. Now it's Blade. Now it's Blade, Blade Runner. Runner. Blade Runner. <laughs> Bizarre. Good casting, though. See, this guy looks very drawn. He looks like a comic character. Yeah, it's a good call. Like the duality between him. And Stallone, both there looking. It, is. <laughs> it was inevitable. <laughs> 20. <laughs> Hello, this is Antiques. I thought they destroyed all these ABC warriors during the last war. A ABC warriors. Hey, wait a second. Don't touch it. That's programmed to only recognize a judge's hand. You touch that, it'll take your arm off. I must be a judge. Why? It's not coming, but why, still. Why does it kill everyone? Come on. Are there giant mech robots in this? You know, Ko, it's been 31 years. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't remember that, he's pretty cool. The Iron Giant coming in. Oh, now he's programmed. <laughs> it's all it takes. He just hotwired a robot. We're allowed to have them if they don't work. Oh, cool. Yes. I don't care what anyone says. That looks awesome. That is so badass. Commander. Recall. Mission. Mission. We're going to war. War. Judge. Dread. No! Wonder if he was framed. Nope. That seems like what that Sylvester tip. Stallone Definitely would Stallone. do. He was judged. Ball man was just like, fuck this. <laughs> well, he talked shit about him, so he yeah. had to take him out. <laughs> judged. <laughs> Hershey, call control for an h -way. You're gonna tow me? Towing is our first offense. This is your fourth violation, Barbara. You are a menace. How do you plead? Not guilty. I knew you'd say that. <laughs> Wait a second. What are you doing? Grenade. Grenade. No way. <laughs> <laughs> 
First violation's a toe, fourth, I blow it up. He's so You're a menace. So extreme. He's a menace. Over his... I just blew up his car. <laughs> That's so much destruction of property. Dread, you're under arrest. What's the charge? Abusing the law. This man is clearly <laughs> innocent. He just blew up a car. Easiest cop to frame ever in front of smoldering yeah. ruins. <laughs> of course you can frame this guy. <laughs> There's a blown up Lamborghini. <laughs> Everything is the worst offense. I judged him. <laughs> Have you selected someone to defend you? Judge Hershey. At the academy, she was at the top of her class in interpretational law. And I trust her. The facts will come out at the tribunal. I'll personally make sure of that. Oh, when the guy had the gun taken out, the, that dude's face was in the... Uh, no, the, it was the... Oh, yeah, the, yeah, the, the, the guy who killed the journalist. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was a hit. We know that the uniform of a judge can be counterfeit and that the badge can be duplicated. And since neither the video nor the audio in this presentation can identify the accused, my objection to this video being allowed as evidence in this case. Is, is no one aware that a former judge turned criminal just broke just out of got prison? Out. Maybe it's a coincidence. <laughs> Maybe. Should we alert them? A lot of people died. And what was the result of the DNA coding on those bullets? The DNA is a perfect match for Judge Joseph Dredd. Judge! What? How? How do you steal someone's DNA? How could I have been so wrong? I dread both of them homicidal. I dread this. Today I have long dread. Oh, wait, he just said both of them are homicidal. He's the bad guy. <laughs> yeah. It's his brother. It's his brother, yeah, he just said it. There wouldn't be a perfect match. I'm surprised they just revealed all that shit right now. <laughs> <laughs> How's a brother a perfect match, though? That's not how DNA works. There is a way out, Chief Justice. The long walk. That's a death sentence, Judge Griffin. Your retirement grants you the power to save Dredd's life. I know this guy's a good guy, but he comes across so evil. He's evil. I don't know, man. <laughs> this tribunal finds Joseph Dredd guilty as charged. Did they say the DNA match was Dredd or Joseph Dredd? It said they find Joseph Dredd guilty. It the was, DNA match it is was identical. Joseph Dredd. Okay. That's not how DNA works. It has long been our custom to carry out the last order of a retiring senior judge. And so I stepped down. Way to go, Dredd. You just made everything worse. Now the big evil guy's going to be the big bad. Come on. As it is written. Justice Griffin, this trial has been a farce. I demand an appeal. You will accept the court's decision, Judge Hershey. Diane Lane's very believable in this movie. Acting. <laughs> Let his armor be taken from him and all his garb of justice. Let it be <gasps> stricken from our hearts and our memories. Forever. I love how they wanted this to be the first movie. Oh, yeah. The first movie they're like, <laughs> strip him from being Judge Dredd and act two. <laughs> Show a bunch of comic frames. <laughs> Let him take the law he served so well to those who have it not. So now he's got to go walk into exile because he was a judge? What a weird system. Because it was his trade. The last order was to keep him alive. What a boring way to live. He's got to go fight a sandworm. Oh my god. Goodness. Cool visual. They're constrained by the time, but the visuals are really cool, like well-production designed and stuff. Definitely. A lot of striking, like, dystopian sci-fi imagery. Baby Dread? <laughs> can't believe you were ever a baby. I'm the baby. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the one guy he judged. <laughs> his brother was also his friend? I assume that's who he was talking about. We were supposed to meet someplace safe. You mess with him, you mess with me. <laughs> the robot makes the whole movie for me. Hammond had to be silenced. He found out about Janus, but I could have used dread. He worships the law. Yeah. Let him see what it's like to freeze his ass off in Aspen. Let him see what it's like to be me. There's a lot of work to be done. I like the exposed cables on that. It's really robot. cool. Yeah. You want chaos? I'm the chaos. You want a new beginning? Yeah. I am the new beginning. He's really unhinged. I don't know what he's aiming for exactly, but all right. 
I, you know, he's uh, uh, the blank. <laughs> we got to do bad guy stuff. I'm a uh, mustache twirl with throwing stuff. <laughs> this legit looks like an episode of Mandalorian. <laughs> like this could pass for a Disney Plus right now. It's great. Ah! Oh, cat, me some city boy. Ah, he broke out of that easily. Oh, Dread, you looking out. He punches very hard. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, my God. And by a breath of his nostrils are they consumed. What are they hoping for? Are they going to eat him? Eat him? <laughs> Said I'm going to get a city boy. Oh, yeah. You're probably right. He looks familiar, that actor, too, with the cut face. Oh, wait. Neat. Good. We're running out of sinners. Oh, my God. It's becoming a Rob Zombie movie. <laughs> they played White Zombie earlier. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> you have blessed us indeed. Damn, the design of this one guy is the really, mech hard, guy? really hard to take your eyes off. Yeah, he's cool. Excuse me, we're not together. <laughs> the practical on his chest is so yeah, cool. It's disturbing as hell. <laughs> that come with a fork, nice. <laughs> Ouch. Yeah. Ouch. Oof. Hallelujah, brother! <laughs> Can it be that from the city of the fallen we have one of the faithful? Brody, don't do it. It sounds like we have a believer in the gallery. Yes, yes. Cut him down. Maybe the law doesn't make mistakes, but I'm free and you're toast. Actually, you're toast. <laughs> <laughs> Your new friends, they're cannibals. <laughs> Fresh meat. <laughs> I've got warts! I've had gonorrhea! He dread! He works out! <laughs> Yum. Oh man! <laughs> Idiot! Come on, kid. Guilty! Guilty! Did he <laughs> say guilty? He guilty! Saved him. Hershey. Oh. Oh my goodness. Let's see if he just kills these guys. Guilty. Corrupt cops. All right. It's like a digital Rambo gun. <laughs> they didn't do anything wrong. Just doing the job like he would. Yeah. They're dead, though. Guilty. Have you been crying? I'm not crying. I just got something in my eye. You ever have allergies? Trent, look out! <gasps> Max von Sydow. From the outside. Joseph. Together again. I've walked 300 miles. <laughs> <laughs> I found you, my son. <laughs> what? Did Ooh. not expect it! What Did not expect it! Oh no! no! They brought him back to kill him with Frankenstein! He was around for like a, a second! He got a scene of reunion! Oh. City Municipal Code 4722. Illegal use of city electricity. How do you please? Knew you would say that! <laughs> Whoa, cool. cool. That's a great shot. If this is the wrong picture, why is it fake? What did you say? <laughs> it's full of anomalies, really clever ones, too. Somebody must have used a CGI terminal and a scan quad to make this 20 years ago. Whoa, CGI terminal. The only thing that's real is the baby. Is he made in a lab? Is the guy a clone? So he has the same DNA? That would make more sense. Not a brother. Wait, is Dread a clone? Uh, 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 Which one's he's... the clone? Are they both, both? clones? Four oh. decades ago, 
DNA samples were taken from the original castle. One was chosen, mine, they altered it to enhance oh. the best quality. Yes, his son. We created you. <laughs> it is Blade Runner. Is that why he behaves like such a crazy soldier? Because <laughs> he's not a person, <laughs> he's programmed. <laughs> there was another infant created in that experiment, but something went wrong. Genetically mutated to the perfect criminal. Oh, that it wasn't the one that got justice. And for his crimes, you judged him. Oh, it was his brother. He didn't realize his brother was that his the friend best was his friend. Brother. It was his DNA that convicted me. It was Griffin. He put that together remarkably fast. <laughs> <laughs> that other guy it must be him. <laughs> I feel like we're watching what should have been a part two. Oh, 100%. 100%. Like, no introduction of the judges, no introduction yeah. of these characters. Like, <laughs> like the, the brother Discovery sequel is 100% a second movie. <laughs> the fall of the city didn't happen for us. <laughs> Hiding in the dumps. That's such cool character design. There is a solution. Project Janus. This council tried to play God once before. This wholesale slaughter of judges continues. There won't be a council. It's kind of like a Nazi. A little bit of desperate times. Fascist regime. <laughs> Are you ready, kid? No! Did wearing that helmet all those years compress your brain? <laughs> <laughs> killed. There's a maniac loose in this city. There's one out here, too. <laughs> <laughs> If you hadn't arrested me, I wouldn't be here in the first place. And I'm going to stay here until I'm caught or until you apologize. The law can't apologize. <laughs> You're not the law anymore. <laughs> now apologize. I think I deserve that. I've never apologized. <laughs> <laughs> Is it a comedy? <laughs> He's so funny. Not smart. First time it was a tad intense. Yeah, that was a moment. Yeah. I'm alive. Oh, so are you. <laughs> <laughs> Great. <laughs> that was so funny. <laughs> Great. <laughs> oh. oh. I can see how Schneider started a career from this. <laughs> Schneider's really, he's actually really it's funny. Solid. This. Yeah, yeah, I see where yeah. he launched yeah. from. I'm lost. Is this the bathroom? Hey. Why are you taking off his clothes? We don't have time for this. <laughs> that was such good delivery. <laughs> yeah. it's, 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 I really believed that. That was so funny. I <laughs> so, really believed it. <laughs> we don't have time. <laughs> like, it wasn't sarcastic at all. That's <laughs> so funny. It's like, no judgment or sarcasm. <laughs> <just> <laughs> Brothers, clones. Run! You're a lot of fun to be with, Drake, you know that? This is a surprisingly great duo. I, yeah, really I like, like that. I really like that. Before Stallone and Schneider. <laughs> I didn't believe the credits. <laughs> yeah. They, like, work really well together. Good job, casting director. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. How are they staying on that? Yippee! Wow, what did come first? This or Fifth Element? There's a lot of crossover. Yeah. Nothing's happening! You gotta cock it first, moron! You didn't say anything about cocking! Oh, I thought he shot the zone car the car. I think they hit the edge of the thing and it launched back. <laughs> well timed. I love how he's just killing other innocent ju Literally <laughs> people that did his job. I know. He's like, I am the law. But kill the law for doing the law. 
<laughs> They're also his co-workers. Like, he knows these people. <laughs> I know. Murder him, Dread! That's a bad guy you just killed. I, my mind says. You guys had lunch together before. <laughs> Hands against the wall. You know the truth. Who are you? Dread said that. Shut up! We're dying out there. 108 judges in 48 hours. What? He killed, he killed 20 of them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we know they're not all judges, there's just something below that. Central, take this DNA sample. Part of our plan. Judge Griffin would never have authorized this. Processing. Jeez. The next batch of genius judges are not going to be the puppets that you want. They're going to be my brothers and sisters and mine to control. I have to stop all this. <laughs> what a dumbass. In front of that. <laughs> I'm going to pull out this little gun in front of this iron giant murder machine. This is a really long 90 minutes. Oddly. <laughs> Odd, for how much action, for how much fun dialogue, we've laughed a lot. Very long 90 minutes. I still feel the run time. And it's, n it's less than like an animated film. Yeah. Like how? <laughs> oh no. They just kill Rob Schneider? We thought it before. Step inside. How does Dread ever friends with this guy? He seems like he's just so unhinged. Yes, the worst. <laughs> yeah, and he's like Mr. Law. It's like, what, did he evolve into this? Like, what? Send in the clones. What are we about to see? Send in the are clones. Are the clones done? Is it just a bunch of hymns? There's no, like, process? Oh, there is oh, a process. Okay, never mind. They're cooking. I thought it was. <laughs> like just a bunch done. of him just done cooked. Rip his head off instead. Oh, he's a hacker. H what? The Rob Schneider's a hacker. Oh, oh, okay. Uh -huh. Is he pissed? Get him, Hang on, Hack you, asshole. Nicely done. Central, that's the first set of clones. The cloning process is not finished, Judge Rico. The clones will be only 60% complete. What are they going to do at 60%? Just gloop around? <laughs> yeah. Cat fight. They behave like monsters. 100%. Not like these two guys who are also <laughs> clones. They get empathy last. Every, every cat fight, you gotta say. You gotta say bitch. She just say judge bitch. I think she said judgment, but I like that better. I said judge bitch. Judge bitch. Riga, Riga. Oh, they there. were in the Statue of Liberty the whole time. I did not realize that. I'm the only one that lied to you. Blade Runner. I know that. Freedom, liberty, <laughs> conscious thought in the brain of liberty. <laughs> ah! Way to go, Dread. 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 Exhausted. Yeah! No Smart. <laughs> <laughs> then he fell on 12 innocent people. Adding to his murder rate of five <laughs> an hour. We have to reconstitute the council. We'd like you to consider the first position of Chief Justice. <laughs> Oh, that's great. He gets all the credit. Dread. I taught him everything he knows. Dread. Is he just going back to work right now? <laughs> Not even like I think he's gonna get on. <laughs> he's gonna get on the bike. <laughs> oh, she went for to it. Tell you the truth, I'm probably a much better kisser. Ah, 
Okay, come on, let's go, will you? Uh, can we swing by a cash machine? Good erection. No, I good. feel emotions <laughs> in my my nethers. He's just gonna pose. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, I'm gonna just close my eyes here for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna need a nap. I'm gonna bite doesn't tip over. I fall off the Liberty Building again. I'll just pose here. <laughs> oh Jesus! Wow. You did it, Coy. That was... I've seen a comic movie I'd never seen before. These are always fun. Wow. Oh, God. That was a... Uh, that was a long 90, man. Uh, that, no. That was a little while. <laughs> I'm shocked that a movie can be that short long. I mean, it's not great. It's not great. But, but it's it is fun. fun. It's fun, though. But it is fun. It is fun. I'm and really glad I saw it. I think in this context, it is the ideal way to watch it. I don't think I would have made it through without you. No. I yeah. don't know if I would have just been like, ah, oh, dread. <laughs> like, I don't know that that would have gotten finished. <laughs> All right, man. Well, Sylvester Stallone, what'd you think of Judge Dredd? I don't know if he knew the movie. Or if we knew, I, I don't know if Stallone made a drama and we all saw it as a comedy or if the director, like he was so sincere it in a lot of that delivery. so funny. Like, I don't know what, it, do you think to this day Stallone thinks this is like a drama? Uh, I'd be curious to know. I know that people don't like this movie. I feel good about having fun with it, knowing it's not great. Yeah, it. I didn't. I couldn't help but feel like it was. Um, I mean, I love Stallone in it, though. I, I love do. Stallone in it. He's I just best, don't know if he knew what it was. He's the best part for all the reasons you wouldn't say he's the best part. <laughs> <laughs> he's so. He's so committed. He's so sincere. He's so committed, and I respect it because I feel like he's got to have some level. I, does Stallone have awareness, or is he like Vin Diesel? That's what I mean. <laughs> yeah. Is this a casting director going, I'm very clever? Or is this a casting director going, like, this is what the movie needs? Do you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because he, he even worked really well off Rob Schneider. And, and the performance even came more to life when Rob Schneider is like the panicky, finicky Oh, yeah, and he's super of, stoic yeah. and saying awesome one-liners. He, yeah, but he's even saying one-liners that are, like, intentionally funny to bounce off of 100%. Rob Schneider. And I thought they... They su that was a, probably the most surprising part the to me. The buddy is, duo between the two of them that I never would have... It it's a, felt natural. Like it was a, really charming. I wonder if people like it as much as us on their buddy. There's this questionable things where I'm like, I wonder if that's a thing that Coy and Greg like, but other but people don't. But like, I hate Rob like, Schneider. Schneider's the worst. Why did Rob Schneider get a career yeah. for this? We're like, this duo really worked for me. I also love the practical effects. I mean, we said practical it a lot, but amazing, I was yeah. so enamored with the world building. Mm -hmm. They really made a cool set and like lived in it everywhere. And despite what you think about uh, uh, Rico, Starship Troopers, despite what you think about <laughs> Rico, uh, is it like the 90s name? <laughs> Rico. Uh, I think it was a commentary on the Rico laws of the time. Oh, was it? Yeah. You know, like Rico laws, like when you get arrested and like one of your other known associates get arrested, you can charge the whole group with that crime. Yeah. I think it was a commentary on like what the times were with law and order in the mid 90s. Like the Rico laws got drafted around the time like Tupac was killed, so that was a big commentary on like gang warfare. See, and then the, there was also the, like the three strikes law that was the same time. That's because well, the opening was about like the guy getting five years for but, something ridiculous. So I feel like it was a commentary on like Rico law and the three strikes laws. Maybe, stuff. yeah. I or mean, I'm thinking, or I'm I, thinking way too heavy about a movie that's just it's right. not that. <laughs> uh, because I felt like this movie wanted to be a Paul Verhoeven film, right? It wanted to be Paul who did like RoboCop and Starship Troopers, which has a, a tons sat of satirical, satirical awareness. About it, and I think it wanted to be that, but it got condensed and it made it a ninety-minute action film. <laughs> it that still to drags at times. Surprisingly, and I don't know what I'd take out either. I, it's not like scenes were I, fluffy. I think you would need to add stuff in and make stuff better. <laughs> I, don't ah, know, I, I don't think it's about taking make it better. I don't think it's about taking stuff out. I think it's about making things more interesting. Sure, and and instead of um, you know, take because. There was something about when Stallone's taking it so serious that it was funny because he's right. saying ridiculous shit and giving insane convictions. And the lighting and the music the most smelling. Shit. Yeah. Every time they'd yeah. show him, they'd be like, look at his eyes. And the, the strings would swell. They'd say like a line that would be like a wonder from Mel Gibson and Lethal Weapon. Yeah. It didn't have, it didn't have a, the whole tone didn't have awareness. Right. 
Um, so Rob Schneider was funny. Stallone uh, seemed to. The Stallone seemed to. I don't know. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna edge towards Stallone had an, uh, an awareness. I'm gonna. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say, edge there. I'm gonna go sixty forty. Yeah. I'm gonna. Say, I'm just gonna give him the, the benefit of the doubt that All he right. had aware because it was just working. So, but it's only working. Uh, uh, like thirty years later. Right. right. With or, this, or, with this or BS. was it not? Or was it like back then? People were like, "He's funny," you know. That's a great question. Yeah. Did audiences see this movie then, or yeah. are we seeing it because we live in this meta era? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what. I, that is a big question mark. Um, I don't know. Maybe the Rico thing is actually because maybe the comics did. Yeah, that. I think I just saw the name Rico as listed by one of the credits. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay, so, so maybe maybe it's not as heady as I wanted to give it credit for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just the guy's name. I'm like, oh, he's a commentary. Rico, Rico, Rico is just, just the mid nineties. Oh, is the name Rico. Name. Hey. Uh, yeah, I, I like um, I like the guy who played. He played John Gotti in a movie. He played, oh, I, I think, the, got, mo- I think yeah. the movie is called Gotti. Um, the Travolta yeah. one. No, he did not play John Gotti in the Travolta movie. Does John where, Gotti where play he Gotti? Played Gotti? <laughs> oh, Travolta plays Gotti? <laughs> yes. Oh, I thought he was just in a movie named Gotti. No, he played Gotti. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh yeah. two Gotti. Hey, it's Arnold on screen. Arnold's on screen. Um, yeah, so John <laughs> Gotti, he played Gotti in that. Uh, but I, I haven't seen that Gotti movie. I just I, I remember the cover now. It's so, and, and it's not like there's any plan to ever react to this Gotti movie. So it's, like, <laughs> it's like some tease or something to come. But should we watch Demolition Man? Because I hear it's great. I mean, I've seen him. I, I, I f- remember Demolition Man f- pretty well. Okay. I just know there's a Taco Bell in it. Yes. That's all I know about it. Cause they Maybe had I reunion. don't remember Demolition Man. <laughs> <laughs> that was I'm like... I don't remember the Taco Bell. There was, there's a whole thing where they opened a Blade Runner Taco Bell. I mean, a uh, uh, Demolition Man Taco Bell in the style of it, and everybody was all excited. And I was like, "Ooh, cool!" Nope, not ringing a bell. Oh, cool. Yeah, I mean, I just, I mean, I love the two of them. Oh, uh, so Judge Dredd and uh, Practical. The music, the music was Sylvester, good. If it was him, it was great. Uh, yeah, we just didn't take the time to look at the credits. Look at the fucking difference in the scores. Four point two thousand people gave it four and a half stars, or That's like wild four and a half stars for four point two thousand people. But IMDb five point six. I mean, it's fun. I had a great time. It's a fun movie, but it's a group movie. Like this would not be fun to just sit and watch. The thing is, the world created. I don't know how appreciated it was back then. Yeah. Because even when you compare it to Fifth Element, Fifth Element feels more. There's Way a lot of practical. In. There's a lot of practical. Uh, it still has feels like there's even more CGI, but it just looks better. And Fifth the movie Element. feels like those worlds exist. Like I yeah. buy the mythology, I buy the aliens, I buy the locations. Yeah. Whereas Fifth like is so good. Fifth Element's incredible. Yeah. That's such a good that's movie. A great movie. Yeah. But that's a little bit more like, oh, I get why this is here. Whereas this is like, that looks cool. <laughs> yes, yes, and I think like we can appreciate it now because of what cinema has devolved into. Yeah, because there's nothing paid. <laughs> whereas, yeah, where it's just gets so made much now. CGI that we can watch this and go, this looks awesome. How and, sad and, is yeah. that? We're like, yeah. wow, that's cool. They built a thing. Yeah, like, yeah. Like, the bar shouldn't be just have it be able to be touched. And Max von Sido is all right. He's all right. He was all right. I was real sad when he, like, came back just to die. But then it was like they got the exposition out. The, the designs of the, I think they said a- Angel Family? Yeah. They were great. Uh, I recognized cool. two of them. The dad and the, and the youngest son looked really familiar. Oh, yeah. The guy who plays Rico is fine. Um, I don't know. I've, I've never read a Judge Dredd comic. How's this It's compare? got the energy. It's got that, oh, like... Oh, does it? Uh, like, there's a lot of that heavy, overbearing, like, this is very quotable. It feels like it's in caps. It's got a lot of those, like, block off frame. Like, so it must be somewhat intentional. Some, it's got... I they hope, led but with I hope the comics. But I knew. Okay. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, I doubt Stallone read the comics. So I, I hope the director went like, this is hardcore 90s. Mm. Whereas, like, I don't know if Stallone was like, I don't know if they were making fun of it. Because they read, okay, yeah, maybe. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, because they, they, they started off with the comics. They clearly, someone loved them. And as someone who hasn't read the comics, I'm like, maybe this is like the comics. I don't know. Or maybe, is that what they're going for? Or this is like an undervalued film for an adaptation? I just, I mean, I hear the new one's amazing. Like people uh, yeah, love yeah. the I hear, one. I hear uh, the Carl Urban one um, is 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 incredible. Right. So that, I mean, that we'll see what the, what you know, we will do. We'll compare those two and know what the level of satire it is. Yeah. Because that's that's. But I think that left this left such a bad taste in people's mouth that no one can't. No one that's sh- the problem. Because I <laughs> no hear everyone that's up. seen Dread loves it. <laughs> because yeah, like Carl Urban's not as much of a household name, and and he, and like I just, I remember the posters for it, and I'm like. Looks like the Sylvester Stallone. Like, right. I, I don't watch it. Like, look, the Sylvester Stallone one. But I would love to see a sequel to this. I would love to see a. It o- feels old like man. a sequel. Yeah, that was the problem with it. Was that like like I've I've heard that when you're making a TV show, 
one of the great ways to get your one of the great ways to do a TV show, a cool tip I've heard, and it's not always the case, um, but one of the great tips I've heard to really make sure you get to know your characters is like write your pilot and then write your second episode and your second episode should be your pilot. Oh. And, I've, and I've heard, I think like there's a way you can mix and match that. But not in the movie. That way you really know the character. And yeah, but here I'm like, well, first off, you remove him from being Judge Dredd like a half hour into the movie. Right away, like, 20 minutes. Take it, and then... All this like crumble of the city and uh, the 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 anarchy of the hierarchy dissembling. Uh, I'm like, well, I don't really know this world. I don't really I'm know any of this works. So I'm, like, I'm like, I get that there was an opening crawl to tell me about the judges, but yeah. I don't really know what this world is. A voiceover opening crawl does not <laughs> replace a first movie. Yeah, yeah, and, and I, it definitely felt like they were just like, get to it. And the stakes of him being banished. I mean, stakes of. Bax von Cito's character being banished and Dread being th- uh, framed and, and and like oh this would be the sequel where like Dread is no longer the man of the law he's done so much yeah. and now he's outside Dredd's the law gone rogue. and he's uh, outside the city walls that, that's a s- good sequel story and like almost everything here would have been better for a sequel or a longer movie with better scenes so that right. way all these scenes could feel like, wow, we really built some craziness. Or like, here. yeah, the third act of this would have been all that those elements. Yeah. But we had to get there. We'd never got there. The build up with the clones. And what a and cast like, of like nineties, like, like eight like hit like hard hitters, like yeah. Remar, James Remar and like the guys that I don't recognize but I like character mm-hmm. actors from that era. So clearly they like put a lot into it, but True. something missed. Diane Lane's attractive. Diane Lane. Um, <laughs> my God, thirty years are just gorgeous. I mean, we all know Diane Lane is, is actually an incredible actress. Yes, uh, this is not her best work. Not she's learning. But can you really say that about like Max von Sydow, who is another legendary actor? You know, uh, so yeah, yeah. The this was uh, uh, it's got some cheesy ass dialogue. Uh, it's got I some a lot. awful pacing at times. Um, Robot. Was yeah. awesome because when it wasn't it when it was not like I thought the guy played Rico did a good job but at the end of the day oh, robot was great robot yeah, was yeah, my right. favorite robot part well be clearly a highlight but when when it when Judge Dredd when, when that's the thing is like when Stallone was whatever you think about Stallone he's got something about his charisma that whenever he's on screen when it, he's on screen the movie's pretty entertaining but when when he's not on screen and it's like focusing on other characters. Yeah. It's kind of boring. <laughs> yeah. You're just waiting for him to come back yeah, and say wa- something it, great. Yeah, it, it gets a little boring. Even when you're like with Max von Sydow, who's a great actor. Yeah. Like, movie's a little boring. But in this world, I'm going to go back to Stallone. Because yeah. like Stallone is the world. Yeah. So it like really feels like you need to get back to his ridiculousness. Nor does it feel like... Uh, like I hate to say it, but it doesn't feel like a Vin Diesel choice where you're like it's got to be about me, you know. Right. It, it, it still felt like it was an ensemble movie. Yeah. And it still focused on other characters and stuff. It didn't feel like Sylvester Stallone being selfish. Make sure every shot's me. Hit it. <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh, so I had I fun. Suppose. I will probably not watch it again for a decade, but I like I enjoyed yeah, I what get I got. Why it took thirty years for me to get yep. around to this. But I want to see the second. I do want to see the for the new one. I do want to see the sequel because I feel like. I feel like if if the sequel's as good as people are saying it is, it will be even. It, it feels like it would be even more appreciative for us because we just we just enjoyed that. Just and yeah, that's, I'm glad we so watched like, this. So we can see. It's gotta be like so much. If 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 we just hop right to there, maybe not love it. But as But the joy we got from this elevating. No, my God, yeah. I'm so um, excited. Yeah, I, I give this movie like a six out of six out of ten. I was thinking a three out of five because I read it. Yeah, so the yeah. uh, same. If at out of ten, I'd say like six three. It like passes, sure, sure. but man, is it close? Yeah, same. Yeah, um, sure well, did see it. Sure did see it. That was a really long ninety minutes. That <laughs> really was. Oh boy. Well, hopefully, dread the new one is not us going like, how is this so long and yet short? But we're gonna check that out next. Uh, I, I'm hear really that, I hear that's like a hard R. Yeah, I hear it's been brutal. I think it's like one location or something. Yeah. Uh, Does that sound familiar? Yeah, I've heard like uh, like John Wick raid Die Hard references yeah. in terms of like you're in one location in a building. And Olivia Thirlby, who I adore. And Lena Headey, I hear. Oh. Yeah. So yeah, we're in for some good times. We're checking that out next. Thank you very much for joining us on Greg and Coy Watch Action Movies. If you want us to watch The Limitation Man, let us know. If you want us to watch <laughs> something else in the comments, let us know because we enjoy these action movie journeys. We will see you very soon, Reject Nation. Much appreciated. Bye.